Hey there, it's Kat, and this is Brews and Reviews. Today's video is a Seven on Sunday video. Seven on Sunday is a Goodreads group created by G from G Swizzle, and today's prompt for the Seven on Sunday list is romance books that are on the top of my TBR. So, having taken a recent turn down the avenue of romance reading, I seem to have acquired, by some strange chance, a bunch of romance books that I want to read. So I'm going to talk to you about seven that I really want to read soon, and we'll just, you know, have a chat about them. So first on this list is Take a Hint, Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert. This is the second book in the Brown Sisters trilogy, and the first book being Get a Life, Chloe Brown. And honestly, I've kind of forgotten what this book itself is about. I feel like I've heard people say what it's about, but it's slipped my mind. I just know that I really enjoyed the first book in this series. I really like the representation of chronic illness and domestic abuse and how that relationship sort of knitted together. So I'm like, I'm really here for Talia Hibbert and the stuff that she writes. So I'm really hoping that Take a Hint Danny Brown could live up to my memories of Get Our Life Chloe Brown. So hopefully I will enjoy this one. I am super pumped to read it and I just actually need to get around to it. I keep putting it on TBRs and then not reading it and I'm not really sure why because I'm really looking forward to it. So it's kind of made its way up to the top of my TBR simply because I keep putting it on all of these TBRs and it's getting embarrassing now. So I, I really need to read this. The next book on this list is The Name Game by CJ Swift. This is a book that was sent to me by the author and it's one that really grabbed my attention because it's fake dating and sexy times and it's just a good time. What I remember of the plot is that a woman is due for a promotion but her boss thinks that she needs to be married to have a promotion and she says, oh yeah, I just got engaged to my boyfriend when in fact they'd actually just broken up. So she has to find someone with the same name as her ex-boyfriend to pretend to be engaged to her so that she can get a promotion. And apparently there's sexy times and fake dating and it just all sounds pretty fun and I'm really here for it and I just really looking forward to reading that one. So next up we have The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. I don't really know what this one's about aside from it's like two people who work together and it's enemies to lovers. And I've just heard so many people talk about it and rave about it that I've kind of not looked into the synopsis too much because I feel like I've already had everything that I need to know to pick it up and I don't want to be spoiled by anything so this is a really terrible, <laughs> terrible introduction to me talking about the hating game so yeah. Anyway I want to read it and hopefully I will enjoy it. The next book on this list is Well Met by Jen DeLuca. This is enemies to lovers at a renaissance fair. Do I need to say anything else? I feel like there is a theme <laughs> seen here. <laughs> Because enemies to lovers, I am super into that right now. Or like anything where people are either pretending or actively don't like each other and against their better judgement fall for each other. I don't know, I just enjoy when people who are angsty and angry at each other fall in love. That's just a thing that draws me to it. Anyway, so this one's also at a renaissance fair which I really like because I've never actually gotten to go to a renaissance fair and I feel like that would be just right up my alley, so I'm very excited to read this one. Then we have From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout, and um, I'm not gonna lie, no idea what this one's about. I feel like I heard that there was paranormal stuff, and I don't know if it's enemies to lovers, but there are some people who are questionable morally in here, maybe. <laughs> I really don't know anything about this book. Everyone raves about it, and it is just one that has been on the corner of my eye, constantly saying, read me, you need to know what happens. So I need to know what happens. <laughs> I don't know, I just really want to read it. I didn't realise it was so chunky though. Um, hopefully it will be worth the chunk because a lot of the romance I read is a lot smaller than this one, so hopefully it'll be good. Next we have the probably most honest title on this list and that is Hot Vampire Next Door season 2. Yeah so the reason this is so high up on my list is that I just read part 1 or season 1 because it's on Kindle Vela and Kindle Unlimited I it gets like released episodically I think. I don't really understand how Kindle Vela works so I waited for season 2 to come out as a whole thing. Anyway 
it's unflinchingly honest in its title. It's literally about the uh, a hot vampire that lives next door to the main character in a like weird paranormal town that has loads of like humans coexisting with paranormal creatures like vampires, fae, uh, werewolves. What are they shifters? I can't remember. Anyway, I just really liked it. I really liked the writing. Uh, it's by Nikki St. Crow, I don't think I said. I follow her on TikTok and <laughs> she has these lines that like, really hook you and I couldn't resist. So I picked up the first one and I really enjoyed it and I was really miffed that I read it so quickly and I'm really glad that this one came out now because I, I really need to read it to know what's gonna happen. You left it on a cliffhanger and you know how I hate those, so. And the last book on this list is Laura Olympus by Rachel Smythe. It's Hades, Persephone, graphic novel, gorgeousness. Of course this was gonna be on this list, of course it was. I frankly have no idea what it's about, aside from the Hades Persephone myth. And I think that they're all in like business suits. Hades is in a business suit, so I don't know if it's even modernized. Somehow I managed to like avoid every single spoiler for anything that happens in here. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just like, look at how gorgeous it is and look, it's everything that I want it to be. So, hand flail. So I am putting this on this list because I just, I need to read it. I need to read it soon because it's just looking at me and it's so pretty. So there we have it. Those are the seven books that are at the top of my romance reading list right now. Who knows if I'll get to them soon because I really want to, but you know how rubbish I am at that. So yeah, maybe one or two of them. If you made it this far into the video, please tell me which one of those that you think I should pick up first. And if you don't have any cares about any of those books, then tell me what your favorite romance book is. So if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.